Hello! We'll take a quick look at the batch edit feature of Emote Desktop Manager that you can find in the context menu to change the setting of multiple sessions in one operation. It can be used, for example, to remove or update all of the credentials of a group of sessions. So let's see how this works in practice. Let's do right-click on our top-level folder to access the context menu, and then select Batch Edit. Or you could also go in the Edit menu, Batch Edit. As you can see, there are multiple options, so let's take a look at them. Change Save Host Name lets you change your host name for all of your entries at the same time. The Change a Credential option will change the credential for all of your entries stored in your database simultaneously. But now, let's say that you would only like to change the credential of only some of your entries and not all of them. Well, in that case, we offer a few options for you. You could select multiple entries by using the control click, but the most powerful option you could use is the advanced search. If we go in view, advanced search, and as an example, let's do a search for all of our RDP sessions. So I'll select connection type and then RDP and click on search. You can then simply select all of your RDP sessions in your advanced search window or click on select and navigation pane for them to be selected in your navigation pane. Once entries are selected, the batch edit will then only affect the selected entries and not all of the entries stored in your database. So now that my entries are selected, I'll go and edit, batch edit, change your credentials, and I will choose use inherited and click on save. If I go back in my navigation pane and see the properties of one of my RDP session, you'll notice that the credentials are now set to inherited. If I go back in my batch edit drop down menu, you'll see the edit sessions general settings option. This would be useful to override any of your common settings. The common settings are shared amongst any type of sessions. They are not session specific. Let's take a look at some of the override feature. In the general tab, the first option is group folder. This would move all of your entries under the selected folder. You do have to be careful with the batch edit since you can't revert the last action with only one revert. You would have to do a revert for each entry one at a time. 20 entries that was overridden equal 20 reverts. Before proceeding with your batch edit, make sure that you want to apply that change to each of those entries before proceeding with it. Now let's say that I would want to change the display mode of all of my entries to undock mode. Override the description and change the credential for my credential repository and use my David credential. Override the display mode and select Undocked. Then in the More side menu, enable the Override Description and write my description. I'll write Display Override in June. And now in the To side menu, I'll use my credential repository and select my David credential entry. All those changes will affect all of my entries so I double check the changes that I wish to make and click on OK. All of my entries will now open in undock mode, have the David credentials and have the same description for each and every one of them. OK, now let's go back in Batch Edit, drop down menu, you'll see the Edit Session Session Type. Now that option is only available for a specific session type like RDP. You see that if I do a right click on a credential entry, the added session session type option will be disabled in the context menu since that option will let you change and override anything that is related to your session computer like the display, the local resources, the programs and many more features. You also have the batch action option which are predefined commands that you could run or use at your convenience. You could also batch edit your user specific settings, your local specific settings or your security settings. The batch edit is really a feature that can make you save lots of time when used properly. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website or our forum.